What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so... Here's something that I've been wanting to do for, you know, a long, long time, guys. So, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, they changed up a lot of things, and one of them includes... Well, having to find a specific Pokemon that, well, let's, let's, let's face it, it was the most unfair thing to do. I'm talking about Feebas. So what I'm going to do right here, guys, is I'm going to go and locate uh, Feebas. Now, in the original versions, Pokemon, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, it all depended on, on a few things, like, you know, talking to, some, to certain peoples, a fan base and all that stuff. And then from there, you literally had to go around every single tile in order to find a Feebas. That one was one of the most difficult pe uh, Pokemon to actually find. Hence the reason why you guys never saw a Feebas on my team. Because if I were to capture a Feebas, the legitimacy of this Pokemon would have been questioned right away. So, what's going to happen right here is, in Pokemon Oraz, it doesn't really matter. Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, if you go under this bridge right here and you start fishing, you will be able to find a Feebas right away. This makes it so much easier than, you know, the originals, you know, the original versions right here. And the, the cool thing is this. Feebas has a different way of evolving as well. So what you need to do is you need to have a good rod or a super rod in order to find it. And, well, would you look at that? We found a god dang Feebas. Oh, my God. I never thought that I would uh, see the day, but here it is, guys. We found ourselves a Feebas, a very, very pathetic Pokemon, and, well, because it's a very pathetic Pokemon, I'm going to capture it with a Dive Ball. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. There it is, and... Bam. <clears throat> Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. So, there it is. We caught ourselves a freaking Feebas, guys. And, well, we got to look at this piece or the this Pokemon deck or Pokedex entry. So, here's the Feebas, the fish Pokemon. While Feebas' body is in tatters, it, it has a hardy and tenacious life force that enables it to live anywhere. However, this Pokemon is also slow, dim-witted, and making, e making it easy to catch. So, yeah, there you go. Huh. Yeah, that was easy to capture. So, anywho, guys, I am going to reveal the nickname of this Pokemon because I'm going to fast forward into something very, very special. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be exchanging a, a few things. Like, we're going to be trading Latios and Latias from Omega Ruby to Alpha Sapphire. And then from there, you know, trade a few other Pokemon along the way. That way, you know... We fill up our, whatchamacallit, our, 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 what was it called, uh, our Pokédex and all that stuff. So, as you guys can see, we are trading, and what's going to happen right now is I'm going to be trading the Feebas that I just caught, and believe it or not, I went in on the Dex Nav again and tried to locate a better, uh, a better Feebas, and I did exactly that because, holy crud, I found one that was perfect. So... I'll be right back with you guys when we make the full trade uh, final. Alrighty, guys. So, I did a little bit of something right here. I traded my Feebas straight to Omega Ruby and gave it a little something and returning it back right here because in, o in Pokemon Oras, you need a Prism Scale in order to evolve this Pokemon. And as you guys can see, we nicknamed this Pokemon Leviathan. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at a Digivolution right here. So like I mentioned before, in Pokemon Auras, they did change a lot, especially when it comes to Feebasses and all that crud. The location of it, very easy to find, especially with the Dex Nav now after you've caught it, and the way you evolve it. Because remember, in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you had to max out its beauty in order for it to be, you know, a, a Milotic. And right here, you only need a Prism Scale, which I already have in Pokemon Auras. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Leviathan. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, here it is, our newest Pokemon, Leviathan. So, this Pokemon right here, 
we got through the Dex Nav. Okay, we were looking at things, and we wanted a Pokemon with a special move. And that special move happens to be Dragon Pulse. Look at that. Okay, tell me a Feebas who knows Dragon Pulse. Now, I do not, I do not like its, uh... Well, I don't like its, uh, what was it called again? I don't like its, uh, nature, which is a hasty nature. That right there affects his defense. That's gonna make him into a glass house, but... There's a big butt. Special attacks, it's gonna block him pretty good. It's, it's, a, it's ability right here is competitive. Boost the special attack stat when the stat is lowered. That is going to be... That is going to come in handy when we start battling and everything. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is a, a tutorial on how to evolve a Feebas in Pokemon or as, but the other uh, the other part too, well, I'm announcing it. Leviathan. This is going to be the Pokemon that will be replacing Ludicolo or Olay. That's why we evolved Olay and we wanted to get him, you know, a few more battles before we have to say, you know what, it's time to switch it up. So, this is pretty much the episode right here, guys. Just showing you a trade, like I promised. In the next one, we're going to be doing more. Going into Fort Tree City and then seeing what happens over there. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Walkthrough. See you guys.